All right, so we're pre-calculus 30. This is 5.3, uh, number 11. And number 11 says a plane flying at an altitude of 10 kilometers. So we know we have an altitude here of 10 kilometers from the ground to wherever this plane is, wherever the height of this plane, um, over level ground and will pass directly over the radar station. Let D be the ground distance from the antenna to the point directly under the plane. Okay, so the plane is flying, it's like over here. It's at a, a distance of 10 kilometers above the station, but we don't know how far away it is. And so D is the ground distance, so it looks like this over here, okay? So this is the ground, and uh, you can put D up there, or you can put D down here. So we have, actually, let's put D down here on the ground just to make it, okay, so the graph's up there. So here's D, the ground distance, right? But here's the plane up in the air. So this is going to be part of the triangle, it's actually going to be here, D. So D is the ground distance, okay, let X represent the angle formed from the vertical at the radar station to the plane. So here's the radar station from the vertical down to the plane. So here's the plane right here. And this would be the angle, or oh, not theta, but X. So that's the angle X. All right. So we've got a right triangle here, 10 units here, and we've got D units here, and we've got angle X here. So write D as a function of X and graph the function. So what do you know about this relationship? Well, you've got an angle, you've got the opposite side, right? And you've got the adjacent side. So that's tan, isn't it? So you would say, you'd say tan of x equals the opposite side, which is d, over the adjacent side, which is 10. And if you want to write d as a function of x, then you have to isolate for d. And you would say d is, multiply both sides by 10, 10 tan x. Okay, So it looks like um, this is what you've got. Now this interval here, if we're going to graph it, Okay, so we want to graph it and we wish, we just want to go from 0 on to pi over 2. Okay, so right now it doesn't give us anything. I mean, it's just a regular old uh, B is 1 here. So that means that the regular tan graph has a period length of pi, right? And so it, it passes through 0, 0, and there's an asymptote at, at pi over 2. There's also one at negative pi over 2, right? So this is the way a regular tan graph looks. And the 10 means that a quarter of the way th uh, through the, the uh, um, see here's a quarter and there's the, so here's another asymptote we'll back over here. So at this point you go from the, the center here over halfway between there and the asymptote and you go up 10 units. That's all that means. So it kind of looks like this. Okay, we're not going to graph before zero. Oops, we're not going to graph before zero because, um, uh, you know, I guess uh, this pi over two would would be um, our our x, and we're not going to treat it as a negative. We're just going to treat it in the positive direction. So we just want to talk about that, so that the angle goes from here to here, sort of thing. Okay, from zero angle of 0 to an angle of pi over 2. That would be 90. So the angle has to lie between 0 and pi over 2. That's why we're just graphing that. Okay? So I think that that's what you're looking for. And so there's your, your answer there. And here's the graph. Including the graph.